All right, here we go again. We'll be talking about standard one, objective one, B. Uh, food chains and food webs. Um, basically, who eats whom. Um, summarize the objective for this is summarize how energy flows through an ecosystem through food chains and food webs. Well, what's the difference between a food chain and a food web? Uh, the easiest way to think of one is a chain is linked together like this. And the next person is hooked. So it goes producers, autotrophs, plants, all the same thing, green, anything green, to a herbivore, cow, to us. That is a food chain, okay? Um, or you could go grass to mouse to snake to hawk. That is a food chain as well. All right. Um, that also allows us to present or represent um, energy. All right. Uh, how energy is transferred from the producers to the consu primary consumer, which is the mouse or the cow, whichever eats the plants, to the secondary, which is whatever eats the mouse or the cow, to then whatever eats the mouse, which would be secondary, no, tertiary. So it, food chains food chains link one to the other. Now, food webs are totally different, okay? Food webs are more than one thing eats a mouse. So you have snakes, cats, uh, owls, hawks, um, dogs, not very often, but sometimes dogs, all those eat the mouse, okay? So what would happen if the mouse has spirit? Hmm, food web would fail. Um, again, I'm taking this off of this right here, and that's page 41. Again, it's upside down, but here's a food chain. You can see the difference. I mean, uh, excuse me, excuse me, this is a food web. Food web, okay, that's a food web right there. This right here is a food chain, okay, food chain. Food for thought, as it says, what would happen in an environment if there were no decomposers? Hmm. It's a decomposer. Hopefully by now you know a decomposer is something that recycles the products, uh, recycles nutrients, decomposes dead stuff. That's a decomposer, all right? Um, so what you're supposed to get out of this? Um, a food chain includes producers and consumers. Now, how could you add decomposers to the food chain? The food chain. Where would you put those? Where would you put mm, fungi, that kind of stuff? Um, bacteria. Okay. Um, herbivore, carnivore, omnivore. Be familiar with those. Or autotroph, heterotroph. Also. Okay. Understand an autotroph from a heterotroph. Autotroph produces its own food. Auto heterotroph needs to eat something else. Autotroph, plants. Usually anything that is green. Usually, usually, usually anything which is green is an autotroph if it contains chlorophyll. Heterotrophs, us, cows, so forth and so on. All right. Um. So on this food web, just think about which ones are producers, consumers, autotrophs, heterotrophs, all right? Um, in class, be thinking about, um, you're gonna have to draw one food chain and one food web, all right? And then to summarize, standard one, objective one, B. Producers make their own food through photosynthesis, also known as autotrophs. Consumers must obtain their nutrients and energy by eating other organisms. Decomposers break down animal remains and waste to get energy. Food chains and food webs are diagrams that represent feeding relationships. Food chains and food webs model how energy and matter move through ecosystems. All right. Um, on page 42. There is the extension right there. Of course, it's upside down backwards. I'll figure this out, I hope. 
um, and you can go to that right quick and if you want to look at some more food webs food chains review questions okay these are questions you need to come prepared to discuss how are food chains and food webs the same but how are they different what is the role of producers in a food chain how do they get their food also remember you must complete a mastery concept quiz which is on google form um, which is both on the website and the wiki site um, before the start of next class all right and again that's standard one objective one b food chains food webs if you still don't understand it um, come prepared to discuss it why don't you understand it in class the objective summarize how energy flows to an ecosystem through food chains and food webs if you can do that you succeeded I also have some pages on my wiki site of uh, text text pages that might help you too all right so all you have to do is go through from 39 through 42 just have to read those um, things those pages and you'll be all set again I'm sorry first couple times a little nervous I'll get this straight sooner or later all right uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to bring them to class. Love to hear them. Thanks.